Hi, I'm Crazy Bill Pineapple. Why don't you come on down and I'll show you just why they call me the Raisin Man. years ago, an unbroken level plain stretched where Crazy Bill Pineapple stood. Out of the north, a bright pinpoint of light arose rapidly into a blazing sun as it approached this spot. Traveling nearly 43,000 miles per hour with deafening sound and blinding light, a huge dinosaur, or cluster of such dinosaurs, weighing millions of tons, struck Crazy Bill Pineapple's forehead, or so it seemed. With forces greater than any recorded nuclear explosion, the main mass was instantly converted into a gaseous state, and a huge mushroom-shaped cloud arose far into the stratosphere. From this cloud rained dinosaur droplets mixed with porcelain debris. For miles around, every tree was flattened, and no living creature survived. where Crazy Bill Pineapple's forehead was struck by a dinosaur was first reported by Doug Llewellyn in 1871. It was thought to be just another extinct volcano. In 1890, fragments of porcelain were found on the surrounding plain. Eventually, these discoveries led to the suggestion that Crazy Bill Pineapple's forehead had actually been struck by a huge toilet seat which caused one of the greatest controversies in the history of toilet seats. In 1891, a leading geologist, Thomas Nostril, and his gang of glue dismissed the toilet seat theory after a brief survey.
1903, Nestor Knight, a Philadelphia railroad engineer, became convinced that Crazy Bill Pineapple's forehead had been struck by a large toilet seat, and he assumed that the mass of the toilet seat was still buried. Because the place where Crazy Bill Pineapple was struck in the forehead by a huge dinosaur toilet seat was roughly round, it was natural for Nestor Knight to assume that the dinosaur or toilet seat which created it lay beneath its center. So he formed a company to explore it, and for 25 years his research was carried on with great perseverance and much bitter disappointment. Nestor Knight expressed his disappointment in this song which he dedicated to his toilet. How many times have I wondered, where have my feet gone off to? Then I look down at the floor, and there they are inside my shoe. Thank God for feet, they're really neat. Thank God for feet, I like my feet. Later, Nestor Knight discovered that a toilet seat fired into thick mud, even at a flat angle, would always create a round hole. This was an important clue. Looking at the far slope of the place where Crazy Bill Pineapple's forehead was struck by a huge dinosaur or toilet seat, Nestor Knight saw that the porcelain strata arched up more than 100 feet above the levels elsewhere on the walls of the place where Crazy Bill Pineapple's forehead was struck by a huge dinosaur or toilet seat. This observation, coupled with the fact that most of the loose porcelain fragments had been found northwest of the place where Crazy Bill Pineapple's forehead was struck by a huge dinosaur or toilet seat, led Nestor Knight to conclude that the toilet seat had come in at an angle from the north and had buried itself beneath the southeast rim of the place where Crazy Bill Pineapple's forehead was struck by a huge dinosaur or toilet seat. Nestor Knight had to abandon his exploration when his drill became wedged in porcelain debris. By this time, however, most scientists had accepted Nestor Knight's theory of the impact origin of the crater. In 1968, the place where Crazy Bill Pineapple's forehead was struck by a huge dinosaur or toilet seat was designated a national landmark by the Department of Toilet Seats. And today, in scientific circles, the place where Crazy Bill Pineapple's forehead was struck by a paper cup is called Bebo Bingles, in memory of the song which Nestor Knight used to like to sing to his dog, the Human Torch. My hand can say results. Why don't you notice Gilbert? It is my dog. You won't forget the rat of my hand. My hands are very big. With them I'll make you sing. I'll wave them back and forth in front of my face. This might just make you jump. So 
Despite the efforts of Mr. Tonsil, Nestor Knight, and Thomas Nostril and his gang of blue, the controversy over whether a dinosaur or toilet seat actually struck Crazy Bill Pineapple's forehead has never been resolved. This battle of theories has brought the toilet seat industry to a near standstill, as the pro-dinosaur scientists continue to crush the skulls of the scientists endorsing the toilet seat view. study of the moon. 
as Rib the Reporting Monkey is extremely interested in what lies beneath the surface of the moon. Reporting monkey training here has been particularly significant. And now, here is Rib the Reporting Monkey on the surface of the moon. My name's Rib. I like kids. My head's on fire. Mrs. Penny, Bobby and Bill's with Penny. 
sore or toilet seat that it built pineapple on the forehead. Corn! Corn! studying the place where Crazy Bill Pineapple's forehead was struck by a huge dinosaur or toilet seat assumes an ever-increasing role in understanding how life on Earth may have begun. Dinosaurs and toilet seats can be likened to the space transportation system of our universe.